Replacing the glove box on a 67 to 72 Chevy truck or GMC doesn't seem like that's much of a big deal, but we do get a lot of customer requests on how to install them. Going from the front, going from the back, what have. So today I'm at Brothers Tech Center to show you how to go ahead and replace these glove box. Now this glove box that I did here not that long ago, but we've got an AC hose hanging down and a couple of wires, and the easiest way for me to get to that would be to just take this off. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone, take care of this, and show you how to do it at the same time. Stay tuned. Now the first thing I like to do when I'm doing something like this is just to loosen up all the screws. I want to see if I've got anything that's a problem or not. I don't want to get all my screws out and then find one that's a problem and with everything hanging down and all loosey-goosey trying to fix that at the same time. So I'll look for any problems, fix those first, and then I'll go ahead and keep going. Now these two right here, these are the most common to get messed up because they get uh, moisture trapped inside the glove box door and rust up. Everything's looking really good. I want to note though that these two screws right here, don't mess with these two screws because your glove box is more than likely already set to shut in the right spot. If it's not, I'll show you how to mess with this later, but we're not going to do these two screws for just yet. Now the um, screws that hold the glove box in on the bottom are also holding in the hinge for your glove box. So I'm going to take these four out on the bottom first. These screws are relatively small and they're relatively specific. They've got a pretty large head on it there with a washer. So we want to make sure we don't lose these. A lot of times you'll see people sticking all kinds of weird different screws in here and stripping things out. So um, either find the right one or don't lose the one you got. Now note that the ones for the this right here and this is the stop for the glove box and that's how that comes out like that and this it's got a little rubber stop on the end right here too that you're going to want to get at the same time but these screws right here they're going to be different from the rest of the screws so take a look at that there these are going to be the most numerous screws that you have holding the glove box along the perimeter and on the hinge, but these two are specific just for your glove box stop, so don't get them confused. With the other um, screws out, then I'll go ahead and do the ones on the side, and then we'll do the ones on the top last. Now, these are held in with little slip nuts that I'll show you here in a bit, and some um, nuts that are kind of um, stamped into the side of the glove box. Let me get this out and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we're going ahead. I'm just going to move it back a little bit. You've got these um, edges right here that you got to clear, and so normally. I can just get to one side here and sometimes something like this is nice and handy. Don't have to worry about scratching my paint. And it's the corners that are the toughest part really. There we go. Okay. Got to make sure that all your edges are past the cab. Okay, and that's how this comes out. Now, sometimes what will happen is these right here are stamped in and they'll just break off and they'll just keep spinning. If that's the case, then it's not going to be holding onto the glove box anyway and you should be able to get it out anyhow. And then after the glove box is off, you can get up underneath, you can hold this down with some pliers or whatever and go ahead and take it out the rest of the way. On the bottom right here, you have slip nuts 
It's called because they just slip right on. And sometimes these will just break on you and they'll just spin also. So um, be prepared for that. It might happen. And uh, not a big deal if it doesn't. You should be able to get the glow box out anyway. So now I can see some um, things I'm going to take care of here. Let me take care of these first and I'll show you how the glove box goes back in. Now before I put the glove box back in, I want to make a note that when it's out, it's basically the only way you're going to get a good hold of this AC um, outlet right in the middle and your radio and uh, even your defrost and the AC controls right here. Now going back in, we're going to go in from the front. Now if you didn't have air conditioning or heater or anything back there, I suppose you can go from the uh, back. I've actually never tried because they've always had air conditioning and anything I build. So what I want you to notice is it's got this big knot going down here in the corner. This is where a little button will go that is an aftermarket thing that you can buy. Check it out on the website. And when that button, uh, when you open up the glove box, a little light will go off and you can put the light right in this hole right here. So so make sure that you check out everything that um, can come with your glove box. There's a surprising amount of things that you can do at the same time and you want to get everything in one shot because you don't want to get halfway through and then find out you need more stuff. So what I'm going to be doing here is I want to get my behind there, but we've got this big stick out right here. So we've got to find a way to um, work both of those things in our problem area here, if you will. So I'm going to get in this side here. Then I can bring it over to the side a bit, and that's going to make getting past this hopefully a little bit easier here. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, now when I go in, I have to make sure that the top of this box right here is on top of these edges right here. So here you'll notice that it's on the inside, if you will. Now we get it like that. So this has to be behind, the glove box has to be behind this, the glove box has to be behind that, but right here we um, don't. This goes right on top of the middle so that we can get our hinge on. Got to make sure that all your slip nuts are still on there. Sometimes they'll fall off. You can squeeze them harder to keep them on. And then I'm just going to try lining up some screws. Sometimes things will be a little bit off and you'll have to um, maybe get a, an awl or something to help poke in and get them in the right position. And when I'm putting these in, I'm putting them down about three or four turns. I'm just getting everybody started. Uh, once I'm sure I've got everything where I like it, then I'll go ahead and I'll tighten it down for the final time. But if I take any of these and tighten them down all the way, then I won't be able to maneuver my box as much as I want and it'll make it tougher to put it in. So give me a few minutes to get all of these lined up and then I'll show you how to put on the glove box door. Before I tighten up the rest of these screws, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, door hinge on because it's going to make everything scrunch down the rest of the way once it's in its final position. Then I can tighten up everything. I like to put this in next uh, before the, hint, the door because this is a little bit more difficult to install once the door's on sometimes. So you can just set it in there like that. Again, you're just doing it at a 90. Make sure that you have this little rubber bump stop on the back end there. And it's just going to go in like that. So I'll just let that sit for now. Then I'll go ahead and line all these up and screw these in. And again, sometimes it does help to have something like this to line everything up. So I've got my uh, screws snugged up on my hinge down here, but they're not totally set. I've got my screws on my catch and I'm going to go ahead and shut my glove box door and make sure that it looks like it's lined up and everything. You can still line up the glove box in or out or left to right when these are loose. After I'm sure that I've got it in the right spot, then I'll go ahead and I'll tighten up these screws at the very bottom. Sometimes it will um, cause the glove box to come down. Then I can finish off all my other screws. So go out there and replace your glove boxes. 
My name is David Welch. I am at Brothers Tech Center every single week making sure your truck gets back on the road and looks good too. You make sure you check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel because I said so. We'll see you next Tuesday.